morning guys it is Tuesday today and it is the start of a new vlog welcome back I'm so excited to be talking to you I haven't vlogged in like a couple of days and I just I miss you guys I'm very clinging with my YouTube family it is Tuesday so I am at work today um, it's like 7 30 I've just gotten here and I'm about to go in and open the clinic. Um, I'm only working till 1 today. Normally I work till 6. But I have uni this afternoon, which is like every fortnight. I'm going to go home and do uni. But it's absolutely pouring today. It has been so rainy for like a week. More than that now. Today is supposed to be the worst of it. There's like flooding. It's pretty crazy at the moment. So I'll talk to you guys all properly when I get home this afternoon. But welcome to this vlog. I hope you're doing well. I'm sending you guys a lot of love. But yeah, I'll talk to you guys after work. So I'm now finished work. It's about quarter past two. On the way home, I quickly stopped off at Target just so that I could pick up a few things. I'm looking, you can already see them in the background. I've been looking for some baskets, some wicker baskets for my cupboard. I have a whole bunch of them already in there, like just to organize stuff and put stuff in so it doesn't look so messy. But I've moved all of my like wintry warm clothes in there, apart from my jackets and they just look really messy and I wanted to find some and literally nowhere had them. Like Kmart didn't have any, Big W didn't have any, like at any stores near me. And I'm talking like a 30 kilometer radius. I found they had a few left at Target so I quickly stopped in there on the way home but I picked up a few things so I'll show you guys that and what I'm going to do with them. I'm not going to have a chance to actually do that today because I have uni this afternoon hence why I'm not at work but yeah I'm going to drive to Pav's tonight and his parents are coming home from another trip so I'm going to go there do my uni there and then have dinner and stay there tonight and then I'll come home early in the morning and head to the gym. So that's the plan at the moment. But yeah, I feel like it's been a little while since I've spoken to you guys. I took a couple of days off just because I was feeling a little bit messy with my vlogs, like my weekly vlogs, and I thought that this week we'll do it a little bit differently. Yesterday was not feeling it, so didn't vlog yesterday and decided I'd just do like a couple of days in a vlog um, this week and see how that goes and just kind of change it up from my normal routine. I've been doing a lot more reels recently which has been really fun. I'm just trying to change things up a little bit but yeah that's pretty much my plan. I've got a bit of a headache this afternoon just from work. I just get stressed on Tuesdays. I don't know why. I've just like done a whole bunch of like things that my physio tells me to do and then I'm gonna go make a smoothie before I drive and I'm gonna try and get some magnesium in there, a bit of glucose to help with my headache and hopefully that makes me feel a lot better but yeah that's kind of where we're at I'll show you guys what I got from Target so I picked up these three baskets I love them because they have the lids on them I find them just like so much neater and nicer um and I also got this this was not on my list but it was on clearance for $20 and I just got very overwhelmed I don't even know what I'm going to use this for it's kind of like a bag so you could take this to like markets or maybe to the beach I don't know we're gonna have to see but I couldn't leave it there that would be silly but yeah these are the boxes that I've got to go in here in my cupboard so as you can see I've got all of like my winter stuff that just needs to go away I've also got more like shorts everything in here on this shelf is just like chucked in there but even my togs are like overflowing so yeah that's what I got the baskets for but I'm not gonna get a chance to do that this afternoon because I need to go so that I don't miss my class I also got a whole bunch of clothes yesterday which I'm gonna film a haul on Thursday for all of this stuff but I'm just so excited so cute. It's from Petal and Pup. You can't really see. It's just like the cutest stuff. I'm so excited. I'm going to finish packing my stuff and then we'll go make a smoothie and yeah, head off. Chrissy. Hello, Bobby. This is Chrissy, guys. This is Pab's cat. <laughs> She's the cutest freaking thing ever. I'm just in class at the moment. I'm just sitting here doing uni. Um, Pab's just going to go get ingredients. For dinner, we're having pizzas. But yeah, just doing some uni at the moment. Uh, I don't want to be here, but I am here. Like my shoes? <laughs> You're gonna sweat my shoes? Stavinky! <laughs> Stavinky! I bought slice ones because I'm lazy. Yeah. Talk us through the ingredients. What you got? Got some pizza sauce. Yeah. Got some pizza bases. Nice. Got red onion, mushrooms, champagne, like ham. <laughs> Even the tone of his voice is like... Paprika. What? Or That's capsicum. capsicum. It's called paprika in Serbian. Cheese. <laughs> oh my god! Could you sound a little 
little bit more interested. They're having Italian, woo! Garlic bread. Um, what are we gonna do to that? Put the cheese in it. <laughs> Rude, I'm cutting that out. Hey vlog, guess who's gonna be here in approximately one hour? Who's gonna be there? <laughs> Get excited! Flashback to the music vlog. You don't know. Batman. Georgia rocks. Georgia rules. Boys rules. That's all me. Oh no, Pavle, I'm vegetarian, no meat near me. No! Why do you speak to her like she knows nothing? Okay, you're gonna have to edit this out. Wow, it's really zoomed in. <laughs> Thank you. Back again, finally. It's good to be back with the family since Noosa. <laughs> <laughs> there were some judgments made about my voice, so I <laughs> decided to alter it to better accommodate the video. Does this suit you, Olga? <laughs> Anyways. Hi, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we were here, we are at Noosa. Georgia doesn't really take my professional career as a YouTuber that seriously. She thinks it's a bit of a joke. Yeah, I've been asked to collab once again. <laughs> He's oh, I'm clearly not the best <laughs> videographer. <laughs> it's still great to be here and I'm privileged that you wanted to collab with me again. So in terms of today, I had to go and pick up George's boyfriend's parents <laughs> from the airport. I'm driving back from the airport always makes me a little bit nervous. Me so I. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, pardon the interruption, we've just got a bit of an audience. So yeah, I was driving back from the airport and it was really exciting. You know, it was great to be privileged enough to pick up my friend's parents from the airport. I basically like ran out of fuel because I didn't realize because I'm in a really old Prado, you have to press a button to like get the sub tank turned on and pretty much we just ran out of petrol in the middle of the road. The whole car was vibrating and I was like really stressing and Yelena was in the front seat. I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. I was really stressing. Yes, please. Yes, please. Olga is currently just in the kitchen preparing those teas. Welcome to the collab. Thanks, Georgia, for having us. Pavle <laughs> <laughs> is so. I'm being to be held here. against my will. Georgia and I are thinking about doing a collab later, <laughs> and we want you to give us ideas on what we should do. So just comment in the oh, comments <laughs> um, what you'd like to see. Yeah, like we should do a challenge, don't you off. think? Yeah. Yeah, girl. Yeah, girl. Who's that number one fan, Andrew Lee and from San oh, Francisco? <laughs> <laughs> You're just the cutest, Georgia. What? It's not really vibing with this, Georgia. <laughs> yeah. No, I will. Oh. oh my gosh. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. Sorry, you can hear my aircon. I've just finished up at the gym. I did a bit of a quicker session today just because I have a lot of stuff to get done. But yeah, I got up nice and early this morning so that I could come to the gym get my workout done and then just like get on with my day because I know that when I've got a lot of stuff to do I just get overwhelmed until it's done and I just like to jump into it but I haven't been to the gym in a couple of days so I really wanted to get in a session today and I'm not gonna lie that wasn't my best session it was all right but it wasn't that great but I'm trying to just be kind to myself first day back after like a five day break which was actually really nice there are ants all over my windscreen there's got to be like an ant nest or something in my car because there's just ants all over it like I'm very very clean I don't bring that kind of stuff into my car but there's like ants all over my car and I don't know what to do about it but I'm gonna go home I'm gonna make some breakfast and also have my coffee I haven't had any coffee yet maybe that's why it was not a good session I wasn't caffeinated and I've just got uni work to do today a bit of stuff at home just like some organizing and then I have work this afternoon until 7, so that's the rest of my Wednesday. But yeah, let's go home and eat. So I've just popped out of the shower, I just washed my hair because it really needed a wash. Um, I'm going to do my skincare too because my skin's feeling a bit 
blessed. I just got some parcels in the mail and I thought I'd quickly show you guys what I got. In one of my past vlogs I was showing you guys an Elite 11 haul and I am so obsessed with them. Easily like my top activewear brand right now. Um, but I got the red set of this. This is the Aurora? Aura? collection I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that but I just decided to get the plain black because I needed some black bottoms and I love this set it's so lovely this is the crop top super supportive I wore it to boxing um, so it's really good for hit it's got a really nice back on it so I picked that up all right so the next package that I got I've been super excited for this to come I heard of this skincare company I've seen so many people using it you guys probably have too it's called love from yours and it's basically like a personalized skincare company so cool for the past couple of months I've been on this skincare journey trying to find what products and what active ingredients are best for my skin and I'm super excited to see how this goes it's made in Switzerland and basically you just like go online and answer a whole bunch of questions it takes like three minutes super easy and it asks you questions about like your lifestyle stress and just like your living situation kind of thing and then you also put in where you live in the world and it like factors in the air pollution and uv and just what might be affecting your skin and then you put in like your skincare goals what are the main issues for you for me it was mainly like redness and pigmentation as you guys can see a little bit on my cheeks i get a lot of redness and i just have like uneven pigmentation on my face so I'm super excited to see how this goes they wrote me a little note how cute so it tells you everything that you need to know like how to use the products when to use them all of that kind of thing there's like a day routine and a night routine so this is like my personalized little skincare chart it's got all of the ingredients in there for me so I'm gonna do the daytime routine now and I'll do the night routine tonight or tomorrow whenever I get a chance what do we have? So I've got the Day Moisturizer. Love the packaging. It's so cute. A balanced hydration all day long, leaving your skin fresh, dewy. It's also cruelty free, which I love. And it even tells you on the back how to use it. So this is my AM PM serum. That's what that looks like. I might actually take it out of the box. I love that. Ignore my nails. They're very gross. And then this is my night cream. And then this is an eye cream eye gel I've been looking for an eye gel for the longest time asked in like four vlogs because I'm just so keen to try new eye products and they even have like a little QR code that you can scan and then watch how to apply it, it firms the under eye area deep puffs and brightens anti-aging properties and diminishes dark circles sounds incredible so my daytime routine is a drop of light serum and a due date moisturizer with active ingredients in the um, oil that I'm about to use or the serum it's basically vitamin C Helps with skin brightening, lightens dark spots and pigmentation, leaving you radiant and even toned skin. Sulfora white, niacinamide, and vitamin C. And it tells you like what they do. This is a really good place to start, I reckon. So it said one to two drops. I'm just gonna heat that up in my hands. Oh, it feels really nice on my skin. Mmm. It smells nice and like clean and fresh too. I really like the feel of that. So I'm just gonna let that settle into my skin before I use the moisturizer, so this is the due date moisturizer, uh, melts into your skin instantly to moisturize and nourish the skin for balanced hydration all day long. The active ingredients are squalane, DS hydroceramide, and vitamin E. Probably put a bit too much on, my bad. Mmm, this smells so good. Oh, these are just like going onto my skin so nicely. I'm so excited to see how this goes like over the next like, couple of weeks and just see how my skin responds. And if I can notice any differences because I feel like I've tried out a lot of skincare over the past couple of years. I'm so excited. I'll pop all of the information if you want to check this out. Um, you can even just do the test just for fun and it gives you a little bit of information. But I'll pop a link in the description for you guys so you can um, check them out. But I'm really excited. I'll keep you updated as well. And you'll probably see in the coming vlogs how my skin looks. So... I'm very excited. But yeah, if you want to check anything out, I'll put a whole bunch of information on Love From Yours skincare in the description. Good stuff. And then from Lavisa, I just got this little claw clip for my hair. You know, I love these. And then just some plain white hoops because I needed some. And these are for my birthday. Very excited about these. going to look so cool. Okay, so it's now lunchtime. My kitchen is the most awkward kitchen to film in, I swear. But I'm starving and I think I'm going to make something that I made a couple of days ago and it was just so 
good. It was just like exactly what I'd want to order from a cafe. Um, and we've got some sourdough. So I'm going to have like avo on sourdough with like grilled mushrooms. I've had a weird craving for grilled mushrooms. I don't know what it is. I'm so obsessed with them and these need to be used. So I'm going to grill them all up and then have some leftovers. And the sourdough I buy is just from Woolworths. They have the best sourdough. This one is the roasted potato and rosemary sourdough. So yum. It's so tasty. They've also got like a garlic one. So I'm going to grill some mushrooms. We're going to do some goat's cheese as well. And I'm going to have that. I've got to be at work in like two hours. And I try to get in like another mini meal, like afternoon tea kind of thing before I go to work so I don't get hungry. That's the plan. I'll show you guys what it looks like when it's done. All right. It looks a little messy, but this only took me like five minutes. So I toasted the sourdough, got avocado, goat's cheese, and then some balsamic vinegar. So good and then grilled the mushrooms. And I'm gonna go devour this. I'm now just about to head off to work. It is so hot and sunny today, which is the complete opposite of what the weather has been like for a whole week. And I'm so sad that I'm spending the rest of the day at work because it'd be so nice to go in the pool. I'll just go get some sun. Since I've had lunch, I've been doing like my washing and stuff. And then I've been doing some admin work. I had quite a bit to do, a lot of like back and forth emailing, which is good, but it's also like very draining. I didn't actually do any uni today just because I couldn't concentrate. I had a bit of a scare with one of my grandparents today. Um, and since then I've just been like all over the place. And the last thing I want to do is like focus on content and I'm not going to be absorbing it anyway. That's okay. I've taken today off and I'm really excited tomorrow. I don't really have anything in the morning other than gym. I have a lot of stuff to do tomorrow, but like nothing that has to be done at a specific time in the morning. So I'm hoping that I can let my body rest a little bit and yeah, just get a bit more of a proper sleep to let my body repair because I feel like I'm a little bit disheveled at the moment. But yeah, I'm going to go to work. I'll either talk to you after work or I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning guys, it is Thursday today and I have just finished doing a angel card reading. I woke up this morning not feeling so great, very anxious. I still feel a little bit sick in my stomach, which is just what happens when I get anxiety. And I thought I would include this in this vlog because I want you guys to know that, you know, it comes and it goes and it's okay. And not every day is going to be the absolute best and that's so fine but I just like never want you guys to think that I'm not human but I woke up to a little bit of a nasty email which put me in a little bit of a bad mindset and definitely it shouldn't have been the first thing that I saw this morning but it instantly made me feel really anxious I hate confrontation um, and it's like nothing that I've done it's just people being nasty but anyway I've kind of planned out my day a little bit um, I've got a content day pretty much today a lot of things that I want to get done for social media and stuff but I decided to do an angel card reading because I always feel so much grounded so much more grounded after I do an angel card reading and I thought that I would share this with you today because it was just so accurate and I love how grounded I feel after I do them and you guys always ask me to post more angel card readings and stuff so if you're not interested totally fine but here's today's reading basically I asked the angels what they wanted me to know today what my guardian angels wanted me to know and this is kind of the gist so there's four cards that I draw the first one is the general theme of today um, and this was no conditions aren't favorable right now wait or look into the other options and ask the angels to help guide and comfort you. So obviously today, not the most favorable thing to wake up to. I also was supposed to get content today, but the person that I am getting content with um, can't do it, which is totally fine, but I don't really have a backup and I just had a lot of work to do, got a little bit overwhelmed with how I'm gonna get these photos. And then we have the possible block to today, which is you're flying high right now, which may threaten others. But don't descend because others will soon become inspired by your example. Literally last night I was talking to Pav and just like saying how grateful I am for where I'm at right now and how proud of myself that I am because I've started, I don't know, taking more steps towards what I want to do. It was so risky and scary but I've only just started kind of doing uh, more social media work and yeah, turning my passion into something more and it's just so exciting and I'm so proud of myself because I've always had to I don't know be my number one supporter with all of this kind of stuff and push myself to do 
these kinds of things um and obviously this is the biggest step that I've taken but even just like taking a day off my work so that I can put more effort into this and spend more time doing what I love so scary I'm so happy that I did and then the angels guidance to heal this block spend time alone in nature meditating about your desires and intentions ask the angels to help you gain a positive perspective and I'm pretty sure I've said in this vlog but it's been raining for like over a week and Yesterday was the first sunny day, but I had uni and work, so I didn't really go outside. But it's the most beautiful day outside. And I love being in nature, I love being outside, and even just on my weekends, I love getting out and I haven't been able to do that. I've been so cooped up, so definitely gonna take that advice and spend some more time in nature, do a bit more manifesting and stuff. And then the probable outcome, based on these conditions. It says your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart. And mind super accurate it's so crazy and like even though I'm so happy I know that I'm still like on my own path to like healing developing and growing I guess we all kind of are but yeah I just found it all super touching and real today so I thought I'd share that with you but anyway I am going to head to the gym now and I'm sure that'll make me feel a lot better too I always feel better after moving my body and as I said we've got a content day today so a lot of filming, a lot of Instagram stuff, but it's gonna be a good day and I'm determined to turn this day around. So I've just finished filming my video that I need to film today for Pedal and Puff. Possibly will be already up when you see this vlog. It is quarter past 11. I have been sitting on my computer quite a lot this morning. I decided to just like smash out a whole bunch of emails. I picked some selects as well for an upcoming um, collaboration, which is super fun, super exciting. I'm just so excited for everything coming up I, there's just so much coming and i can't wait to share it with you all but yeah feeling a lot better than i was this morning the gym was really good smashed out a leg session but yeah now i've got some of the pieces on the bed and some of them i'm actually going to shoot with probably saturday with pav but i just want to get a little bit of instagram content um for this stuff so i'm going to do that now i'm going to kind of like set up my mirror um, with some good lighting, capture some photos of them for my stories. So yeah, I'm gonna jump on and do that and get out of this long sleeve top because it's 32 degrees today. <sighs> I cannot wait for winter. So a little bit of BTS. This is what I normally do for my Instagram stories that you see like this. So I have my mirror, which is normally here. I bring that out. I've got the clothes that I wanna capture and then I get my ring light just for some extra lighting because this corner of my room is a little bit dark during the day. So then, as you can see, I'm nice and lit up and I can take photos without all of this, obviously, in the background. But I'm just gonna take a few photos for stories and I think this might also make the thumbnail. Yeah. So I've just made lunch. I just have some spinach, Greek yogurt, this is like vegetable protein mints that I just put taco seasoning in. Avocado and Mexican rice. I was craving Mexican food, so I'm super keen to devour this. It is now like 3 p.m. and I have just been sitting here editing. I've done some emails and I'm so tired. I've really hit a wall in the afternoon. Like I really do struggle to make it through. My body just likes to go to bed early and get up early. It's just how it is. But this was my to-do list for today and I've pretty much ticked everything off. I've got like a few little jobs left to do, but nothing crazy. I'm actually gonna end off this vlog here because I wanna edit it and get started so I can try and get it up and all organized for you guys because this week I've been a little bit slack. I only uploaded one video, which is fine, but I want to try and be <laughs> more organized from next week. But thank you guys so much for coming along with me for the past couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you guys are doing well and you're feeling okay. I know currently there's a lot of places flooding right now, so if you are in one of those places, I hope you are safe. I hope that your family and your friends are all okay. Literally last year we had fires at the beginning of the year and now we have flooding this year. It's just one extreme to the next here in Australia. But I'm sending you guys my love. I'll talk to you very soon. Stay safe. And I'll see you guys soon.